internet filters kind of come in two flavors. Um, there's a flavor called blacklisting or, or uh, database lists, which is basically a catalog of websites. And that's just not really effective in the world we live in because most of the content we have is user generated and it changes frequently. I mean, YouTube, Facebook, the two biggest sites on the internet, they're changing all the time. So because of that, um, true internet filters, like in NetNanny, um, have what are called dynamic filtering. And dynamic filtering looks at the web page every single web page and determines what type of content is there. Um, and then if obviously the kind of uh, content type that parents don't want, then it gets blocked. So it's it's very effective and it's important. Um, if you work off of a list, obviously you're exposed to a lot of things. I mean, you think about something like Wikipedia or or Facebook for that matter, right? What would you categorize that content as, right? It's, it's so different every single page. So. Um, there are both types of solutions to answer the question. Um, the good solutions that really keep kids safe are those that are dynamic like that. That's great. Yeah, the days of Encyclopedia Britannica are gone, right? Right. <laughs> There's so many dangers out there, and it's a little scary. You know, parenting in a digital age, digital age it's very different than when, our, when we were younger. Well, and I would add to that, I, you know, a lot of parents, you want to make sure your kids still have access to the internet. Right, right. right. You don't want to just close the door because there's so many great resources and good learning tools and things kids need for homework. Um, but you want to make sure that they're safe and not exposed to things that are inappropriate. Yeah, it's here to stay. So we need to embrace it and, and learn how to use it correctly right. and, and filter it the best that we can.